Now, President Donald Trump is firing back at Democrats after they hurled attacks on him on the opening night of their convention. Today, the president took aim at former First Lady Michelle Obama. He is also planning a trip Thursday to Pennsylvania, the state where Joe Biden was born. White House correspondent Owen Jensen reports. Tracy, before President Trump left for Iowa and Arizona today, they held a special event here at the White House honoring women and the right to vote 100 years to the day. And at the same time, the president took a few shots at Democrats. President Donald Trump marks 100 years to the day since women in the U.S. got the right to vote in elections, the 19th Amendment ratified. He even surprised the Women's Suffrage Centennial Commission in attendance when he did this. I will be signing a full and complete pardon for Susan B. Anthony. She was never pardoned. Fast forward 100 years to 2020. The governor of Michigan started out her DNC speech Monday night. Hello, America. I'm Governor Gretchen Whitmer, or as Donald Trump calls me, that woman from Michigan. And former First Lady Michelle Obama in her speech warned the president can't meet the moment. Donald Trump is the wrong president for our country. He has had more than enough time to prove that he can do the job, but he is clearly in over his head. The president today... She was over her head. ...fired right back. I thought it was a very divisive speech, extremely divisive. Uh, we have a tremendous amount of enthusiasm for my campaign. The coming election will also be a stark choice between life and abortion, as Penny Nance, who was at the proclamation today, told us right after. We've made great gains in this administration on the issue of life. We've taken uh, $60 million of funding from Planned Parenthood. The president also stopped in storm-ravaged Iowa, struck a week ago by a violent storm, hurricane force wind gusts exceeding 100 miles an hour, billions in damage to homes and flattened acres of corn. Iowans have always been resilient and strong and tough and great people from the depths of this grave hardship. We will rebuild even stronger than before. We're going to be in fantastic shape in a very short period of time. With less than three months to go now until the election, President Trump has been working on building his support among female voters. That'll be key in crucial battleground states. Right now, there's a Woman for Trump bus tour going on, and his pardon of Susan B. Anthony today at the event drew cheers and applause. At the White House, Owen Jensen, EWTN News Nightly.